Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 for 19H1 or the April 2019 update that will be coming soon. And this was the second build this week so there's really an increased pace of builds for Fast Ring Insiders. And that is usually an indication that now we are on the last stretch of the development of Windows 10 for this uh, next version that's coming up in, you know, probably a month, month and a half from now. Uh, nothing really much uh, to talk about in terms of new stuff. They're just tweaking emojis. So if uh, emojis are things that you uh, like to, want to check out um, using the Windows uh, and the, the um, dot or the Windows um, semicolon um, you can actually check out what is new in there there's new stuff and you can actually um, you know find some of these uh, uh, new characters and, and, and emojis in there uh, they're kind of finalized uh, emoji 12 so uh, basically that's pretty much what there is apart from that really nothing much lots of bug fixes of course and improvements and different aspects of the operating system Still quite a lot of known issues, so don't worry if you have some glitch. It's part of, uh, of the, the, the um, you know, insider builds. There's still a lot of stuff to, uh, to adjust. Today we highlight, of course, a feature. And uh, one of the features that's going to be interesting is the search box that now separated from Cortana. So first of all, got to note that Cortana has its own little icon now on the taskbar on the bottom left. It is now separated from the search in Windows. And the search itself is also improved. Now you have the top apps. So what you've been using the most in recent, um, you know, with your usage of your computer. So, you know, Edge, File Explorer, Chrome, stuff like that. It tells you what is the top apps or what are the top apps that you're using. You also have the recent activity uh, at the bottom that gives you what you are doing and what you were actually looking at. And of course, it's cleaner. It's a little more spaced out, so it's easier to read and to uh, to see what we've done. And of course, you can search and look by apps, what you've been doing, uh, documents that you open, emails, web stuff, and there's more. Of course, music, people, photos, anything that you will be looking at in there is uh, going to actually show up in the order of usage. So that means the more you use something, the more it will pop up here at the top. And of course, you have the recent activity that's always there. So if you want to go back and, and see something that maybe you've gone and um, done in the you know, last hour, it might be here in the recent activities. And of course, it suggests to open timeline if you wish to see more. So a better way of seeing things. And even when you actually go to apps, the apps will have the possibility to also open up the latest things that you've done. So if you right click on these, uh, for example, I went to Facebook or I uh, went to see uh, La Presse, which is a local newspaper here and stuff like that, or Neo, and then it gives you suggestions when you actually right click on the apps of what you can do. And um, of course, suggestions of where you want to go if you've gone to uh, different websites, for example, with the uh, Edge or Chrome browser and so on. So kind of a nice way. It's better than it was. Um, is it? Is there a place for, of course, improvements? Probably, you know, uh, there's always some tweaking being done, but at least it's a little better. And uh, I think a lot of people will be happy to see that Cortana has its own little icon now. So this means that Cortana now gets her only place, or it's it's an assistant. It has its assistant. It's it's assistant uh, only and, and really the separation from search, which a lot of people have been demanding is, uh, I think, not bad of an idea. So uh, apart from that, the install went well. The um, operating system seems to be very stable. I've got no issues at all. So it's, um, I think, a good sign for what's coming up in the April 2019 update. Let's hope that it's, uh, it's going to roll out well. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.